Aries, welcome to my channel, Down to Earth Tarot. This is your general tarot message for the day. Please don't forget to like, subscribe for my daily tarot uploads. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Let me know what resonates for you down in the comment section below. Find me on Instagram, Aries. What I can tell you is already straight out of the gate. This is your energy to me, the magician. This card symbolizes having all the tools that you need to be successful in a situation, Aries. This is your energy here. You're the total package. You, you know what it is that you're doing right now. You're very confident in yourself feeling it, feeling the energy right now. And ever since your season, um, in Aries season starting back in March, this has been a major time for you in your career and making money things happen here. But this card also symbolizes the card of somebody being deceptive here. So keep that in mind. Maybe you're worried about being manipulated here in your money endeavors. And with this King of Pentacles energy, you could be a husband or a father here. This is you having all the tools you be, need to be successful here. And maybe you're doing it for your family. Aries. You have the overall energy for this reading is water sign energy here, cancer card, the chariot. This is you moving on, moving forward with purpose and balance. This could be you being having all the tools you need to be successful in your career and making moves. Are you moving out of city, out of state? Are you making so much money that you're moving out of your place into a bigger crib here? This is you making power moves, Aquarius, okay? And with this magician having all the tools you need to be successful, this king of pentacles, okay, collecting your coins, being on top of it here. Again, you could be the mother or the father, um, uh, sta uh, staple figure in your family here. But this is you making some powerful moves here, Aries. You walked away from a situation that is no longer serving you here, maybe completely ghosting somebody, realizing the situation was no longer serving you. Could have been a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person, cutting communication and moving on. Maybe somebody was being manipulative. Is that the case? Somebody was being deceptive, manipulative. It became too much, and so you moved on to focus on money. Ooh. And with this hermit energy, you left someone behind. Aries, you left somebody behind. Um... To see what was going on here, maybe you had to do some research into what the things that they were saying with the swords energy. Swords have everything to do with knowledge and communication. Maybe you had to find something out. Maybe you had to research, do some behind the scenes digging to figure out what was going on with an air sign person. Aries, let me know if you were dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We had um, this Hermit card come out for Aquarius as well. That reading was just before this. But um, yeah. Walking away from a situation that was no longer serving you, maybe having to do some research to find some things out, finding out about somebody's deception here and focusing on your money. Aries, you completely found out about some information and walked away. Maybe even walked away before you were ready to walk away with the spool card in reverse. But know that this is the first of the major arcana here, the start of a brand new journey. This is you being carefree about this um, new step and maybe being single, maybe walking away from this person, this situation, this talk. It could have been a toxic situation. I feel like it's toxic when I see the six of swords. When somebody's walking away, not speaking to somebody, it, it, it couldn't have been great. So this is you just moving forward, starting a brand new journey here, being carefree about it. And with this nine of wands, Aries, this is your energy here, fire sign energy. This is you giving up the fight. You don't want to fight with this person anymore. You don't want to fight for this. You don't want to fight with them or for this. You're just out. Again, you having all the tools to be successful somewhere else and money. This is you changing maybe this heartbreak or this energy of feeling betrayed here and putting it into your business, your work, something that you're passionate about that's bringing you coins. Underneath the Six of Swords, the Three of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. This is the card of reuniting, rejoicing, coming together with your intimate circle and parting. But with this being in reverse, this speaks to was somebody entertaining a third party here in the background? Was somebody having issues with work-life balance here? That tug of war with that. But this could be also, Aries, somebody speaking behind your back. And that's what caused you to walk away. Was that the case? Somebody was speaking ill about you behind your back and you found out about this deception after doing some research here and that's what caused you to just up and go? Like, how the fuck are you going to talk bad about me? After all that I've done, I poured into you. Ooh, Aries, somebody was talking behind your back here. And that was the straw that broke the camel's back here. And that's why you're not willing to fight with, for this anymore. Because how are you going to betray me and then say that you love me? Aries, underneath this five of swords, there was a verbal falling out here. So, oops, excuse my work alarm. Um, there was a verbal falling out here. And maybe you're trying to avoid another verbal falling out. And that's why you've just moved on, moved away quietly, silently. Um, just not speaking to this person could have been dealing with a Virgo here. But this card, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, air sign energy with this five of swords. This is a verbal falling out here. You had it out when you found out about this deception, this talking behind your back, this unfair um, give and take here, potential third party situation. Or maybe this person was inviting third parties into your situation by talking about you. Ooh. 
This five of swords is also to me the card of gossip, things getting back to you. That's what happened. You did some research and things got back to you and you were ready to go. They were they were whatever they were saying was too damn much. Ooh, Aries, this is your energy here. This is you regaining control here when you walk away. Whatever they were saying was too damn much. Maybe it even hurt your ego here. Maybe they were purposely trying to hurt your ego with the things that they were saying, trying to damage your character in your name here. You weren't feeling that. They had you fucked up with that. You were out of there. This is your energy here. This is you coming into your own. This is um, king energy, um, divine masculine. You, this could be um, your husband that was challenging you. You could be a husband, a father here. This could be the father of your children. But know that control, e somebody's ego was hurt here. And this situation is definitely, you were being tested. This also came out for Aquarius. Aries, let me know if you're dealing with an Aquarius person here. But this card, the world card, symbolizes, um, we have the first of the major arcana here with the fool starting a brand new journey here and the la ooh, and the last of the major arcana with the world here this is the pause for the cause before the start of a brand new journey this is you being tested by the situation find this out in aries it's not about it's all about what you do in the situation how you do it your delivery matters you're being tested maybe somebody is trying to um provoke you to get the courts involved here to eliminate you from the situation be careful of that because this per with this person's deceptive behavior here and this gossip they're being deceptive trying to push you out of the situation is what i'm feeling and they're gossiping about you maybe they're gossiping about your character and how you maybe you go off that you're very emotional here um maybe they were trying to provoke you into this argument be careful about your next move aries is what i'm getting um ooh, aries what's underneath this king of pentacles and this high pre oh Please check out that Aquarius reading and with this three of, yeah. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius here or you were just dealing with somebody just like Aquarius and Pisces who is shady behind your back. Maybe this is the season where things are just being revealed here. Things are being, you're getting regrounded. The universe is stepping in and clearing things out for you. Secrets were revealed here. Maybe that somebody close to you was talking behind your back, getting um, their close circle in on these, this gossip, spreading these lies about you. And with this, um, Three of I want to, well, I want to say the eight. I always the eight is the cakes, um, being uh, iced. With this three of pentacles energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This Taurus season, you are clearing things out. Things are starting to come together here. You're putting the pieces together. Like I said in the Pisces reading, there are three three clues and blues clues. Maybe things started coming together for you here. You started putting all the pieces to the puzzle together. Things are making sense now with what's going on in the background, and you're ready to move on somebody was shady here maybe pouring their cup of love all over the place that could be that three of cups or maybe this is the lie maybe that somebody was telling telling people that you were supposed to be my man and you were or feet or woman and you were pouring your cup of love all over the place making it seem like you were being extra flirtatious here somebody was trying to ruin your reputation and that's why you're cutting communication with this person again could have been an air sign person gemini libra aquarius but you are cutting communication with them due to their lies due to this deception focusing on your money right now and moving on maybe even moving out away from this person with the six of sword energy this person was just totally trying to damage your character here aquarius aries excuse me aries and you you weren't feeling that and I feel like after this verbal falling out, you feel that. You feel that energy, and so you're just not trying to deal with them at all. You're not trying to get caught up. Be careful about what this person is trying to do to you, Aries, because they are, in fact, I, you are being tested. With this world card energy, you are being tested. They're hoping that you are not in control, that they keep control of you by these secrets, by these lies, keeping you angry and hoping that they um, have you gassed up enough to make a fool out of yourself. Don't fall for it. Aries, let me know how that resonates for you down in the description box below, down in the comment section below. Please um, find my information for Instagram in the description box. Check me out there. And Aries, I'll be checking in with you soon. Fire sign family. Keep it real.